James Elder, I thought TV in association with MTK Global. I'm in Manchester State on the undercard of Jorge Linares versus Anthony Quala with me after his points victory. I've got Ben Sheedy. How are you doing, Ben? I'm all right, how are you? I'm very well. Also joined by Dan and Ainsley from Team Sheedy. How are we, guys? Yeah, we're good, thanks. Yeah, good, man. Right, 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 right. Firstly, congratulations on the win. Can you talk me through the fight a little bit? Um, yeah. Just, I felt, I felt um, a box had a plan that we'd set out before the fight. Boxed patiently and um, was picking my punches and, and just yeah, carried out the plan that we, we'd set in place beforehand. You're going to get in with fighters as you go, you know, you're moving down the levels, you're going to get tougher fighters, people, yeah. when you hit them, they're not going to go. See, Rob Brown's very durable, very experienced. Do you think he, he, you got a great something out of today? You could get in the rounds and get in, yeah, I got, getting I, a bit more under your belt. I got a full six rounds in. Um, I've been cut, which now I've, now I've experienced that. Yeah, I've... Uh, I'm happy with the six rounds yeah. in the way I box. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I mean, at the end of the day, he could have gone out there, looked good for the two rounds like he was doing really special, and take your kid out. And then it would just took off the, the fact that we're trying to get him into the latter stages of fights, see how he holds his gas, see how he holds his position, see how he picks, picks his punches. And for me, it, it, it worked even better because by the end of the fourth, the kid was ready to go in. Um, so when he came out in the fifth, and he, he's you know, set about him. The kid just learned and just knew how to survive and just pull himself through, which was massive for the experience side. You know, he knows what it's like now when he's out there with a kid that is on the verge of going but just not quite ready. You just have to know how to pull it back so you don't go gun ho and blow up. And it's all part of his education, so we're very happy. Caught him some fantastic body shots in the yeah. third round as well. Showed a good yeah. repetition of punches, good punch selection. So is that sort of some of the stuff you've been working on in the gym with your team? Yeah, yeah. Um, the three of us have been working on all sorts of different shots, especially uh, body shots. So I was just putting him in and, and doing what we said, and he, he, he took him well. To be fair, at, at times I didn't expect him to. I thought I've caught him, I've caught him good there, but credit to him for uh, taking him. We're moving now to six and zero. Oh, improved your record tonight. Another yep. W on on there for yourself. Have you got aspirations to get your hands on like a, a central area title coming up in the future? Um, yeah, we're, we're working towards that when when I'm. When Enzi and Dan when, when, ready. Yeah, when, when, yeah. When, when he's ready. It's, we're, we're in no rush. I know that people might look at his age and say age is, uh, isn't on his side. But as long as you're living, living clean, he lives clean and he trains hard, I don't worry about age too, too much, especially, you know, my, my, my boxing career. I, was, I, was, I didn't peak till I was about 35, 36. Mm -hmm. I had my best years. So as long as you're living clean and you dedicate yourself to the sports, I think you can go on for a lot longer. I'm not in a rush with him. He'll develop as we see him going along. And then we'll know when he's ready to go step up that next level to a small central area, English title fight, something like that. How do you think the middleweight division sits domestically, in your opinion, at the moment? Who do you think is sort of top of the pack? It's got Billy Joe on it, definitely. It's a, it's a strong division in, a, in this country. Mm -hmm. So by the time you get there, you've earned it on you if, you if you get up there with them lads. But yeah, Billy Joe is definitely the strongest, I'd say. But yeah, there's, there's good talent out there for us to. Yeah, to work towards. Lots of good kids coming through. Marcus Morrison's coming through looking nice. And um, the two boys who are fighting tonight, um, Jack Anfield and, and Brian oh, Rose. Rose. It's going to be interesting to see what happens there. And um, there's a number of good kids up and down the country that will give Ben some serious tests in the future that we're looking forward to. So it's just about being patient and learning, getting the experience that he needs, getting the understanding. And like you said, he's been he's, he's been caught in a fight, so he knows what what it feels like. He's been six rounds now, his gas was good, his concentration in the corner was good. All those, these things is when, you, when you're developing young fighters, they all have to be in place at the right time. Then you move on, then you move on and just keep tapping away. You know, it's something that, you, that you've got to understand how, how to work it, or you could be rushing these young prospects into too much of a deep water before they're ready for it. So I'm very, very patient with my fighters and I like to see them develop in the right way. And then they move on. It's the same thing we do with Sam Hyde. Sam Hyde is doing fantastic now. Congratulations he's, on the win for Sam yeah, as well last thank week. Thank you. It was Good a fantastic win. win and the way he went about it, he's just started to turn that, 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 that little corner now and get to the eight rounders on a regular basis and start to develop in the latter stages of our fight. I'm very happy with him. Very happy with the way he's performed. Quite finally, when can we see you back in action? When are Team Sheedy going to be pulling in the fans and when can you go again? Uh, June. There's, June. A show, there's a show in June we're going to look forward as long as the cut heals as, as well as we expect it to do it'll be out in June how many cities do you have in the cup? six six how did you find that? 
uh, or yeah, all right, yeah, <laughs> I suppose. It's just annoyed that it's happened because it's it just slowed you down a bit, doesn't it? But yeah, it's part and parcel. So it's happened, and yeah. I've dealt with it in a fight, so it's a box tick. He's, he's going to have more rest after this fight because he's got the cut than he would have had normally. He has to have seven days complete rest, no, no water to touch the eye, so that's going to be longer than he's been out of the gym for a good while. That, so. Yeah, so that's going to be hard work. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> just keeping the sweat out of it. But yeah. Well, listen, congratulations on the win. Thank you very much for all the time. I appreciate it, lads. Thank you very much.